feel like every time I see John play a play against the Rob, he's just Three, running across the stage two, and throwing stuff at each other one, for like ten days. Go. Pretty much, and we're about to see that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see that right now. Ooh, John coming in with the with the parry on the nair. Essential yeah. if you want to be robbed. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And you, you gotta have that. John, you know, making his way to center stage for a change. Yeah. And and I feel and I feel like, you know, this is this is kinda like the tone of the set right now. Mm -hmm. John playing a bit more aggressively, especially against Rob's landing. Oh um, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, you definitely, you know, if you wanna if you wanna survive. In the great city of New York, you definitely need to catch Rob Landing because that's 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 where you get your you know Ooh. wow uh, wow fortunate for Dill that that was not the sweet spot. Yeah, the no, I, I've certainly been hit by that. The the John number special with yeah. that with that off smash yeah, kills that. very early to get the sweet spot. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Ooh, okay. Kind of mixing the shield there. I don't know that interaction. Oh, oh. yes, yes. Yes, and we yes. and we all <laughs> already, do, you know. Already. John has that locked and loaded every <laughs> single time. Oh no, one hundred no, out of no. one hundred times. You <laughs> cannot get caught slipping off stage. You know, I feel like it's so funny because it happens once a set to everybody. Everyone, <laughs> every single person. You got to pay the numbers tax. Yeah, because like you have to challenge them at some point. You and do. You can't just let we fit. You know, do whatever she needs to do off stage. Like you gotta, because he he'll stay there the whole game. Yeah. Without without a shadow of a doubt, uh -huh. and we might see that right now. Actually, no, you know, not taking his time. You know, yeah. I guess a player like Dill and a character like Rob, I can see why John would uh, take a little less time on that ledge. Yeah. Off some crazy angle right now, though. Yeah, and I feel like just I feel like from the jump, I feel like numbers show that he was going to be aggressive. Yeah, for sure. And and you see the conditioning about aggression. Dill trying to air dodge down. John, you know, yeah. realizing. Let me let me wait a second. And throw out that sun salutation. Not killing because it's Rob. But um, yeah. Another air dodge. John not covering it, being a little uh, more aggressive that time. But the back air, that yeah. we fit back air. Yeah, actually, actually push, punishing Rob's snare. Probably pressed the button after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, right now John is at a big advantage. Um, has deep breathing on deck right now, For punishing sure. all these nares. Right, we're seeing yeah. a lot of anti airs coming out from John. Yeah, I mean, just kind of staying, you know, where he's comfortable with that parry, and and Dill showing that she she is intending on nearing, and and John is more than happy to intercept those with that parry. Yeah. Again, okay, yeah, and that, now that that was an important uh, part for John right there. Not getting hit by that down here and like living living another day because right now a seventy seven percent good extra credit for John. Yeah, hundred percent. We are building up that extra credit. John, a player that most definitely will be comfortable with that stock lead, with that defensive style. We see Dill kind of getting in there though. Though, yep, there you go. John trying to stall his landing with that with that uh, header, but. Still catching it with the, with the up air. And I, and I feel like the header actually messed up his DI a bit, right? I, yeah, it might have, for sure. I mean, it's Rob, so you might have died anyways. He went but, straight up, though. But yeah, for the for the mix-up or whatever, you know. Yeah. They're just DIing that move correctly in general. Mm. Can be can be difficult sometimes. So yeah, when you're in the middle of the, the header. Another parry on that Nair. I mean, John is, you know, his percentage of, of Nair's parried. It's pretty, pretty crazy right pretty now. Pretty high right now, yeah. Very high. Yeah, I feel like John is definitely John definitely has a game plan that is making it a point to punish all these lending nares. Yeah. Whether it's a back air, a grab, a forward tilt, even even just a parry and wait, right? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean a lot of people, you know, you you need to make it count when Rob puts themselves in a in a position where, where they can get hit and you know that disadvantage is is one of the biggest, you know, weaknesses of Rob and if you can't parry that nair, you don't get to capitalize on it at yeah. all, which is which is a large reason why Rob is very frustrating for a lot of players to deal with. You know, their weakness is there, but unless you can parry that nair, yeah, might be toast for you. Yeah, and, and understanding the spacing on some some of the nairs too, right? Because mm -hmm. like sometimes Rob will hit you at like max space nair, and even yeah. on parry, you're kind of like not getting oh, yeah, the hard no, punish you, or anything. You definitely, uh, you definitely can't always punish it. But John doing a very good job so far, mm -hmm. and yeah, just kind of ooh, a little still getting in. With that down tilt, Rob certainly has the capabilities to scrap. Does not need to play the defensive game if need be, you know. And, and we've seen that those nares are are not necessarily working against John. So oh my God. we might see we might see a lot of those down tilts come in. That back hit forward, 
forward air trade was so unfortunate for Gil, mostly because that's pl that's plus. So yeah. John got to act out of it first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a devastating move to get hit by. The back hit, you, ooh, yeah, man. makes me very upset. And John, yeah, John's being so aggressive on Gil's landings right now, going yeah. all the way up there with the header. Like, why would you even do that? I don't know. John kind of in the corner. Dill a little more comfortable now. Not necessarily hastily mashing that nair. Making John work a little bit more to get out of the corner, but he yeah. does so. Yeah, and, and John is actually finding his way out of the corner. It's not something we're used to seeing, but I feel like he understands that Dill, or Rob for that matter, is definitely not a character to be played with at the ledge. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, 100%. You definitely don't want to... Uh, get into a like weird type of situation with Rob because Rob is the type of character that will win. Oh yeah. They, that, they, they just they, they be winning. <laughs> they be they, they love those types of situations where you're both at the ledge, the reversals from Rob, the, the just general ledge pressure from Rob is insane. We see John, you know, picking his spots really well there. That was a great dash tag, you know, being patient initially, not swinging hastily, but then when he sees the opportunity, he capitalized on it big time. Yeah, Ooh, that was a great grab. Okay, okay, back throw laser. And the, and the offstage game against John is is huge because once you start adapting to his little bag of tricks, which you have to do every single time you play him, um, it becomes a completely different game. You know, the the, the risk reward of certain actions is different once Dil you. Dill has not landed. Dill has yeah. not landed. Oh yeah, Dill's Dill's on a fool. <laughs> like, that was I, I love when that happens. <laughs> When I see, when I edge guard a Rob for 30 seconds straight and then they finally run out of fuel, oh man. Yeah, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, like that little light indicator on Rob is like the most unseeable thing it's, it's in not, mid match. Just give me a meter. Yeah, why not? Please. That'd be crazy. I don't understand. That'd be crazy. That would be really good, yeah. Okay, that right. will go forward there. Yeah. All right, well, are we gonna get Did some you up here, dead. You are dead off of that for sure. And I mean, that's all it takes, you know. John definitely, we, we see the reason why he's being careful in the corner, you know. You, you get hit with one of those and it changes the tides of the game completely. We were looking at two to one stocks, full stocks, like 15 seconds ago. Now it's an even game. Yeah, Rob is fucking big, yo. That's crazy. And he's, he's large. That's That was something. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean, even though Dill took that stock pretty early, John is still sticking to the game, same game plan. Yeah. Not staying in the corner, even though Dill is trying trying her hardest to keep John in the corner. Yeah, I mean, he's just so comfortable playing from that position in the first place. You know, getting into the corner, getting out of the corner. He's, he's very familiar with the corner. Oh, ducking under that gyro. That's pretty funny. Yeah, and I also feel like Dill hasn't been able to net a lot out of that gyro besides that kill that we just saw. Mm. Besides that, I feel like the gyro hasn't really been that effective against John because yeah. he's not really scared of it. I think a, a huge part of Dill's game plan is catching your dashes with those uh, with that gyro. You know, the, the initial shot, the throw, you know, anything will, will really catch it. But John showing that Dill has to be a little more careful with where they want to place their gyros because he, he's not necessarily trying to get out of the corner as fast as he possibly can. <laughs> Ooh, intercepting that gyro oh, there. Oh, and John wanted to deep breathe him so bad. And Robin's, you know. You saw the jump before that. He, I, I think he, he wanted to, to shoot it over the gyro. Because it doesn't go through the gyro, right? The the sun salutation. Um, I think it interacts with it. Yeah, like yeah. It hits it. Yeah, yeah, it'll hit it. Yeah. So so you see right there, you know, yeah. Head. John jumping, possibly reading the gyro right there. And and catching the the end lag of Rob down B, which is not something you see every day. Yeah, um, that was um, a headshot. And you know what? That you know that I feel like that was the one instance where Rob being big comes into play. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. Yeah, big ass head. He's large. <laughs> got clipped. He's large. Yeah, he got the headshot right there. I mean, he's a big character. No, it definitely. It, yeah, it smoked. Yeah, got. Yeah, got smoked. I mean, that, that was, makes a difference. I mean, in, also in the pacer or not, and I feel like that's kind of the tail of the tape, right? Um, you know, Dill throwing out these gyros, really not being effective, and actually John calling out some of these gyro tosses, mm -hmm. right, and punishing accordingly, and that was kind of the set because I feel like if you know if you could punish Rob's nair, um, get, be wary of whatever the whatever they're doing with the gyro.